Hey, so I'm here with Doug, manager of Paradise Comics. Why don't you tell me a little bit about the event here tonight? We've been waiting for Squadron Supreme by Leonard Kirk to come out. Um, I knew I had to have him in the store opening night. Um, it's always a party when Leonard's here. It's been crowded all day. We're pretty much sold out of the issue. Um, I'm always happy to have him. It's a great time. Uh, and you've also got uh, your back is being renovated and you're gonna get nearly twice the space. How excited are you for that? Super excited, it's been 16 months. When's it opening? When can we come and party the new celebration of reinventing of Paradise well, Comics? Technically, everything should be done in the next week or so. Uh, we're gonna start with a soft opening. We're gonna transfer stuff around, move things around, but grand opening right now, tentatively, hopefully, Valentine's Day. So I can't wait for February, it should be fun. We're looking forward to it. So now we've got this new take on the comic and you're drawing it. Which of the original cast are part of this incarnation of Squadron Supreme? Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, Hyperion, of course, Power Princess, and uh, um, Nighthawk, Dr. Spectrum. We have Blur, who was actually originally part of DP7, uh, and uh, some other characters will start popping in who are sort of part of the cast, but not quite part of the cast, but then we're not sure, and then eventually, I guess, they become part of the cast uh, later on, such as Thundra, and she uh, makes a quick little appearance at the end of issue one, and what happens after that, I'm not saying, because those haven't come out yet. So what was the focus of your character redesigns on this project? Uh, with someone like Hyperion, I really kind of liked the classic look that he had already. Uh, the only thing that I changed with him was he, he still has that big uh, radiation symbol on his belt, but I've, I've restricted it to the belt. He's lost the shorts because the thing that always bugged me about that design is the belt merged with the shorts and it kind of looked like he was always wearing gold diapers. And so uh, I, I don't mind the underwear on the outside of the pants, but when it starts looking like a pair of Depends, that just kind of breaks the fourth wall. Uh, Dr. Spectrum, I, I just liked uh, her look already. I, I just tweaked a little bit, uh, made her uh, the little wrist thingies, that's a technical term, uh, that she wears uh, a bit bulkier, a bit more fun, and then they'd pop out and, and little extra gadgets pop out when she uses her powers, stuff like that. Blur, I kind of started over with him because uh, most of the incarnations I'd seen before, it was basically just a guy in a tracksuit. And uh, that didn't quite fit for me as far as a character is concerned. So I, I just went ahead and gave him still a very sleek outfit. He's got running shoes on there. He's covered basically head to toe. And the one thing I also wanted to throw in with him was uh, I got a face covering and a nice head mask or, or, and, and a shield that sort of pops over his face. And uh, James Robinson, the writer on the story, he, he asked me about that. It's like, why did you put this covering over his face? And I said, well, do you want, have you ever ridden a motorcycle? Because honestly, do you want bugs hitting your face at 200 miles an hour when you're moving along like that? That's just, you know, if he's constantly picking mosquitoes out of his teeth, again, that kind of takes you out of the mood. Thundra, just a few little tweaks on the costume, nothing big, because everybody already liked the way she looks anyway. Nighthawk's pretty much the same. His look was already just, you know, big black outfit, glowing eyes, and that's, you know, I like that, so I just stuck with it. How are you enjoying working with James Robinson on this project? Oh, it's really been a lot of fun. I've uh, I've enjoyed working with James uh, already. I mean, we were already working together on Fantastic Four, and it's just jumped from that onto this project. And uh, he's uh, he's a really good writer to work with. I've I've been extremely fortunate over the years. There are uh, I, I've never really had a writer I've worked with that just just bugged me or anything and just did things that weren't quite right. Um, almost every writer I've worked with has been very cooperative. It's been a very good uh, relationship between the two of us. You know, him give me ideas, I give them ideas, etc., etc. And with James, it's just more of the same. It's really cool. So in the previous Squadron Supreme comics, there were a lot of uh, universe jumping issues and a lot of uh, events that took place in multiple parallel universes. Can we look forward mm -hmm. to more of that in the new Squadron Supreme? Well, definitely we can see, expect something like that, especially since the group themselves are kind of formed from that in that you have different characters from the different groups from some of the different universes, different worlds coming together. Uh, so you've already got the mixture just with the team from the start. You know, one comes from a planet that's already been destroyed, one's come from a planet where, uh, you know, lots of other bad stuff happened, and they've all 
sort of reunited uh, or united on our Earth or on this Earth, the Earth of the the six, what is it, six one six? I always get the numbers mixed up on the Marvel Universe, and uh, formed a team together there to basically make sure that whatever happened on all their various planets doesn't happen here. And they're also not afraid to kick a lot of ass in the process and basically just do whatever they feel like and they don't really give a damn about anyone else's opinions about how they do their job. Awesome, so we can look forward to some amazing two-page spread battle sequences. Um, yeah, quite a few actually. I was uh, sorting through my pages before I came in today and I forgot that first issue I think had about four if not five double-page spreads right there. So. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to be seeing a lot more of that. Thanks for talking with us today. We're looking forward to more Squadron Supreme. Well, thank you.